back to Live and Breathe Horses and today we are going on with this beautiful book, More Than a Horseman, which is a collection of stories about the life and work of Tom Dorans by his wife Margaret Dorans and John St. Ryan. Today's story comes from John Holman. This story took place in Nevada when Tom was working on the 25 Ranch. Spotty was a horse that had bucked some of the ranch cowboys off. Tom said Spotty weighed 900 pounds with a rock in each stirrup. At the time, Tom was helping Tom Marvel's young daughter, Sally. She was only six years old at the time. Tom and Sally had a few days before they had to catch up the wagon. So Tom decided he would work with Sally and Spotty. A few days later, when Tom and Sally caught up with the wagon, Sally was riding Spotty. Tom Marvel had told Tom Dorans to never put a kid on a horse like that. Tom told Tom Marvel that it all depends on what kid you were putting on the horse and he rode off. Years later, Tom was at a ranch in Idaho where my kids were learning to ride on Spotty. Tom had taught Spotty to count and shake hands. Spotty had still remembered what Tom had taught him and Spotty became a great kid's horse. I had traded a mare from Mike Marvel. She was bad to buck. Tom came to the ranch to help me with her. We softened her and then Tom told me to get on her. She bucked and ran into the fence and tore my spurs and chaps off. This went on for most of the day. I had run out of air and had got an offer. My son Pete was four or five. When Pete saw that I was on the ground, he thought that I'd gotten bucked off. He told me to get back on her and to not let her buck me off. After Tom left, she continued to buck. The last time I saw the mare, I had her in the bronc riding at Ellsberg, Washington Rodeo. I got along with her a lot better as a bucking horse. Tom said that this mare had something wrong in her head and thought that she might hurt someone if we continued to try to ride her. So there we go. <laughs> That's today's story. And it would be fascinating to know what was wrong in her head because I think that's so true you know sometimes you just come across horses that for whatever reason something in them or something that's been put in that's just too much to ever get over anyway thank you for joining me today keep tuning into the light and I look forward to see you next time